Hello, and thank you for joining this AJMC Peer Exchange titled, An Introduction of a New Class for the Treatment of Bone Health. Bone health is maintained by the coupled process of bone resorption and bone formation. It's called bone remodeling. Osteoporosis, or porous bone, occurs when the quality and the density of the bone is reduced. Osteoporosis makes bones fragile, and it increases the risk of fractures, and often there are no symptoms until the first fracture. Today, with our expert panel, we're going to discuss the burden of disease and introduce new treatment options. I'm Dr. Peter Salgo. I'm a professor of medicine and anesthesiology at Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons in New York and associate director of surgical intensive care at the New York Presbyterian Hospital, as you might guess, in New York. Participating today on our distinguished panel are Claire Gill, chief mission officer of the National Osteoporosis Foundation in Arlington, Virginia. Dr. Thomas Olajinski, staff attending physician of the Department of Rheumatology in the Geisinger Medical Center in Danville, Pennsylvania, High Rock FLS physician, champion, and BMD committee chairperson. And Dr. Andrea Singer, director of women's primary care, director of bone densitometry, and director of the Fracture Liaison Service in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology and Medicine at MedStar, Georgetown University Hospital in Washington, D.C., and also the Chief Medical Officer at the National Osteoporosis Foundation. That's a, that's a lot of titles over there. Why don't we uh, get right down to it? Thank you all so much for being here. Somebody just define osteoporosis for me before we get going? Sure. Well, I think you covered it quite well in your introduction. Well, osteoporosis thank you very much. Is, is porous bone, and it's when the bone becomes less uh, dense and much more easy to break and much more fragile. So that's kind of what we're dealing with. But are we dealing with less bone formation, or is it more bone destruction? It can be both. Oh, so thank it you. is that the really remodeling <laughs> of, of the bone doesn't happen. So people who, our bones continue to rebuild and grow as we, throughout the lifespan, but with osteoporosis, the formation of bone is happening less than the, the deterioration of the bone. I got it, so the bone's going away, but not enough new bone is coming in to take its place. So it occurs to me, I'm just an old country doctor here, that this could be a biphasic disease, either too much destruction or not enough replacement. Is that fair? That is actually fair, and there are changes that go on throughout life. So if we think about when we increase bone, you know, kids and teens are adding new bone, mainly by something we call modeling. They reach peak bone density, about 90% of peak bone density is achieved by age 20. So we're all past that peak. So when your kids tell you you're over the hill after age 30, they are correct from They're a bone perspective. They're off by 10 years, though. <laughs> well, the remainder, that extra 10%, it accumulates till about age 30. And then okay. after that, you know, hopefully there's stability for a while and then age-related losses. For women, there's a significant loss of bone following menopause where women can lose up to 20% of their bone density in the first five to seven years following menopause.